first snow of the season. Had to get out in it. Love the snow. And I can see by the tracks that there's been others out here on the trail already. No tracks on this trail, which means I'm the first for the day. This is a dry snow. It's sticking some of the trees. For those that aren't in snow regions, the difference between a dry snow and a wet snow is a dry snow doesn't have as much moisture content. Doesn't really stick to a lot of stuff. It's not really good for snowballs or making snowman stuff. Uh, there's some actual stairs here. You can't see them all that good. Where a wet snow has more moisture content. And that's the, really the pretty snow. Because when it's a wet snow, it sticks to everything. And everything's like white and glistens. That's the snow that's best for snowman and snowballs and things like that. I like the wet snow better because it's prettier, but it is also heavier, especially when you got to shovel it. <laughs> but this here is more of a dry snow. It's sticking the stuff a little bit, but not like a wet snow would. And see, see how it really doesn't, it won't, it won't pack tight. It just keeps falling apart. That's the dry snow. A wet snow wouldn't do that. A wet snow, it actually makes nice snowballs. I'm not going to mention where I'm at because this video is probably going to make up several different trails at several different parks. So I'm just going to roam around today. So. Another trail with no tracks other than some animal tracks.
majority of the animal tracks that I'm seeing is right down here, coming out of the woods, it's right around the curve. I don't know if we can see it yet or not. They, they just took off. Deer. This is new. This wasn't here last time I've been through here. Where'd the deer go? They come from this side and went in this side. You can see the tracks all over down here. Tracks right here. They must be in their ways already. I don't see them or even hear them. So in the winter, you can tell you're the first one on the trail for the day because there's no human tracks in the snow. In the summer, you know you're the first one on the trail of the day just because you keep smacking your face into the cobwebs that are stretched over the trail. I just heard something in here. Could be deer, could be squirrel, could be bird. I would tell them I don't see anything. I don't see anything coming out. But I definitely heard something in there. I'm going to see if I see a deer come out. See nothing coming out, so okay. That one little piece of trail earlier that I said, well, that's new. And I walked up into a few feet and I turned around. I now I think I know what it is. They did some work on this trail because maintenance 
fencing a lot. So I have a feeling this here that I'm on now is new. And I have a feeling they're looping it back around because they fenced a lot of this in up here. So they're looping it back around and I almost guarantee that I'm gonna come out why that one section was after I walked up in. I'd be willing to bet that's where I'm gonna, this is gonna take me. Cause like I said, this here is all new because they rerouted some of the trails down here. So we will find out in a second. And I see the other trail that we were just on down there. Okay, this looks like a fun little hill to slide on. Well, actually, it's a curve here, but still, yeah, there it is. Here's my footprint from earlier. So that's where this one though comes from. We came from that way and we went that way. So that's where this one though goes here that I said was new. It just loops back around now. They changed it. I'm not on a designated trail. I'm following what may be an animal trail. I don't, I'm not sure.
I have no idea what that is. I see it just to the left of it right there. It looks like a like a barbecue pit or a grill or whatever. I'm on Metro Park property right here, Battelle Darby Creek. That is private property over there. But I'm curious what that is. There's a swing set. Now I'm gonna have to stop up there and ask. I <laughs> know what this is.